Here's what you need to know about Apple's new savings account. We're gonna look at the good, the bad, and overall what I think about the account and why it is a huge move for Apple. Let's dive right into this. This savings account from Apple pays out 4.15% interest, which is pretty huge. This is not unheard of. Some online banks will offer these types of numbers, but most banks in America pay very low amounts, not even coming close to this. Bank of America, for example, will pay 0.01%. Yes, you heard that right. 0.01% is the amount of money you're gonna be earning with the money in your bank account at Bank of America. Now, how is Apple able to do this? Well, they're investing your money in other places. They're making a little bit of money off the top and paying you the rest. Well, this really adds up for Apple. Of course, the incentive is to get you on their platform. Could they take a larger percentage? Yes, that's absolutely possible. That's what banks like Bank of America are doing. However, they're trying to go for a longer term plan here to get you on their platform and they're still gonna be making money at the end of the day anyways. One thing to note is that this bank account is actually through Goldman Sachs. So it's not Apple's own bank, but a platform they're trying to build utilizing Goldman Sachs accounts to actually make this happen on the banking side of things. Now, this money is insured up to $250,000 through the FDIC. So what that means is should anything happen to Apple, Goldman Sachs, whoever, your money is secure up to $250,000. You'll always get this back through whatever means, no matter what happens, that money is yours and it's not going anywhere. I do wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Dossier. Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting out all the expenses and the brand tax. Dossier has also just released a new line of candles for the first time ever, and I have one to try here. First of all, I can tell you straight out of the box, it's an amazing smell and there are currently four different scents that you can choose from so if you are looking for a new scent for your home dossier candles are the way to go there are free exchanges and returns forever dossier has a welcome offer with up to 20 percent off the website however you can get up to 30 percent off your first order by using the discount link in the description of my video dossier has a new payment method that lets you earn store credit select cash at the last step of the checkout and you can earn yourself a 10 dollars bonus credit and even get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order after that. So that's kind of the overall basics of what the account is, but there are some negatives and there's also some other positives, but let's look at some of these negatives. How do you open this account? Well, that's where the first flag is. You have to have an Apple card. Now the Apple card is a credit card, which means that you're gonna be opening up a new line of credit, a new account, and hopefully utilizing the credit card in a responsible way. Now, this isn't gonna work for everybody. A lot of people shouldn't be touching credit cards, whether it means that they don't have the means to be spending money on a credit card or they're bad at managing money in other ways. It's totally normal, it's totally okay. And the unfortunate thing is that you do have to have the Apple card to access the savings account. They are different accounts, I'll keep that in mind, but you do have to have the Apple card first to open the Apple savings account. So that of course means they're gonna run a credit check against you. It will impact your credit score. You can utilize this card in a good way if you don't touch it or if you just use it to pay off one thing per month. Uh, it can actually build your credit. So it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but it is a negative that you have to do that to open the savings account. But once the account is opened, you will be able to open the Apple savings account and utilize it separately if you want and you don't really have to touch the Apple card. Now I know some people are probably asking, why is that the case? Why do you have to do that? And is that gonna change? They haven't said anything about that. I would assume long-term, they probably will change that, but it's yet to be seen, however many years that may take, if it ever does happen. Uh, it's just something we'll just have to see in the future. But right now, that is the case. You have to have the Apple card. And the reason for this is that they want you to join this platform. They want you to utilize the Apple card. They want you in that whole ecosystem and it's all tied together. So from their perspective, it's a means to get people into their system and make money at the same time. And for you, it basically just means that you're gonna have more options to some of the financial resources. If that's a good or bad thing, it's kind of up to you and how you're gonna manage your money in that account. Now, why is this good for the general person though? It is very, very good to see that more people are being exposed to the fact that there are bank accounts that will pay interest for the money that you have in the account. A lot of people just think it's normal to get 0.01% and for a long time that was the case because people are a little bit nervous to invest their money elsewhere and they didn't really wanna mess around with new bank accounts, some of those online banking systems that will pay a higher interest rate, those two, 3%. But 
Apple is exposing that this exists, it's possible, and you can do it just on an app on your phone through Apple Wallet. And it just takes a few seconds to sign up through Apple Wallet if you do already have the Apple Card. Now, even if you don't have the Apple Card, it only takes a few more minutes to go ahead and set up the whole process from Apple Card to Apple Savings account. So it is very accessible. Of course, it is behind the wall of a credit card at this time, which is a little bit unfortunate, but doesn't have to be a bad thing. More lines of credit can lead to increasing your credit score if you're responsible with your money. Of course, it can also go the other way. It can lead you to mismanage money and unfortunately go into debt. So you have to know yourself. You have to be able to follow a financial plan if you wanna utilize this account at this time. Now, regardless if you're gonna utilize this account or not, it does kind of expose the fact, like I said, that interest rate does go up on bank accounts when you bank online. If you go with those old bank accounts, it's gonna be a very small amount, if not literally almost nothing. So it is great from Apple to see that uh, more people are starting to learn about the fact that you can get a larger interest rate on your money because they're making money off you regardless. You're just actually gonna see a bigger piece of it if you go bank somewhere else. One more interesting thing that is a positive about the Apple Card and Apple Savings Account is the fact that they have daily cash, which is essentially like their cash back when you utilize a credit card. Now, if you pay this off on time, every time every single month in full you're gonna be getting those rewards and they will actually now deposit to your savings account automatically which means that you're gonna be building interest on that money whether you realize it or not so you don't have to worry about setting up a system send money to the savings account or utilize those rewards in the correct way you will actually go ahead and benefit from that being deposited into your savings account and therefore compounding over time and building up into hopefully a rather large amount, which is very positive. Now, again, it all comes back to managing your money. If you're gonna be responsible with the Apple Card, it's a really great thing and uh, just makes the process a little bit easier and overall really simple and smooth to manage. Now, the final thing to note in this video is the fact that the 4.15% interest rate is subject to change as it is with any other account pretty much. Uh, sometimes you will have a welcome bonus sign up that'll lock in a certain interest rate for say a year or six months. Um, but most accounts, as the Apple Savings account is, it's gonna be changing in the future. It probably will go down. It's possible to go up as well, but it'll probably go down over time and hopefully it stays rather high. Uh, of course, it's probably not gonna go to 0.01% at any time, which is great news, um, but that is something to keep in mind. Potentially a negative, potentially a positive if it does go up, but like I said, I don't see that happening. I think they wanna get people into their ecosystem right now. So they're offering a really, really great rate and uh, kind of just taking a little bit off the top, but that'll probably change in the future. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, but that is an overall view of some of the good and some of the bad with the Apple Savings account. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with financial tech and money videos, and uh, of course, drop a like, I would appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, peace.